The CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination, the theater of the mind. Tonight, a pre-release performance of Hugo Weisskall's The Stronger, a recorded one-act, one-voice opera chosen by the American Chamber Music Committee to be given a major performance on record as part of the Columbia Modern American Composer Series. Serving on the American Chamber Music Committee are Virgil Thompson, composer and critic as chairman, Aaron Copeland, composer and chairman of the faculty of the Berkshire Music Center, Henry Cowell, composer and professor of composition, Peabody Institute of Music, Baltimore, Maryland, William Schumann, president of Juilliard School of Music, and Goddard Lieberson, president of Columbia Records. Here is Mr. Lieberson. When the Committee for the Modern American Music Series, which included the speaker, first heard a test record that was submitted of a chamber opera by a composer named Hugo Weisgall, we were all struck by what seemed to us to be the emergence of a genuine American opera composer, a composer who seemed to have grasped not only the elements of his work as a musician, but also those important elements that make up that rare being, a genuine theatrical composer. The Stronger, a small opera based on a play by Strindberg, is perhaps not immediately accessible in its full values, but what is immediately accessible is the dramatic impact. I think that perhaps as far as the music is concerned, the best thing I can do is quote from the notes that Mr. George Rochberg has supplied for this record. He says, In general, it is difficult to place Weisgau's musical style, not that it is important or necessary to do so. We are too fond of labeling composers today. Still, his music leans heavily in the direction of a freely handled chromatic palette without ever sounding like so-called atonal music. The diversity of harmonic palette is evident in the stronger, as is the composer's sensitivity to orchestral color. The most important thing is, of course, that these means are not to be judged by themselves, but entirely in relation to the dramatic situation to which they are applied and which they delineate so beautifully. And now, Hugo Weisgall's The Stronger, sung by Adelaide Bishop and conducted by Alfredo Antonini. by yourself, like a bachelor at his club. I do hate singing on a warm and Christmas Eve in a restaurant. May I sit down? Even if you like to be alone, I don't think it's wholesome.
I suppose it's only the children who keep me at it year after year. I work like a slave for weeks. Every morning I'm in town shopping. They'll drag us out of bed at Tomorrow morning. But don't you want to see some of these marvelous things? Isn't this a sweet infant? She'll do anything to prevent the protection. We never had anything like that. And here's a pair of slippers for Harold. Maroon. I hate maroon. But he must have everything that one color, slippers, ties, dressing gown. See what small feet he has, seven and a half. But not effeminate. He walks up and down, up and down, up and down, like the tiger in the zoo. Of course, you've never seen him that way. He dresses gown and slippers, but then he loses his temper. Little beast Audrey, she made a play for him the last time I was on the road. I'd applaud her. I'm glad I heard about it first from him, and not from my dear. Never cared for you. 
Oh, <laughs> 
be unhappy in your lifeless way. I should be angry with you, but I'm not. Who could be angry with a dead woman? And as for her, why should I worry if you or someone else taught me to drink martinis? They're always chic and never fattening. Dress from you, so much the better. It helps me hold my husband. My gain is your loss. Yes, I think you have lost him entirely. Of course, you meant for me to break with him.
You have been listening to the CBS Radio Workshop premiere performance of The Stronger, a recorded opera based on a play by August Strindberg, adapted by Richard Hart, with music by Hugo Weiskal, sung by Adelaide Bishop, and conducted by Alfredo Antonini. The Columbia recording of The Stronger will be available at music stores next week. This is Roger Foster inviting you to join us next week when from Hollywood we will present Hamlet Revisited, another point of view about Shakespeare's great heroic figure. The CBS Radio Workshop is produced in New York by Paul Roberts. In the current issue of TV Radio Mirror Magazine is an interesting article on Who's Who on CBS Radio Workshop. TV Radio Mirror is now on sale at all newsstands. Stay tuned for five minutes of CBS News to be followed on most of these stations by My Son Jeep. This is the CBS Radio Network.